The Poisoner's Handbook, Murder and the Birth of Forensic Medicine in Jazz Age New York, by Deborah Blum is a captivating narrative that delves into the evolution of forensic medicine and its pivotal role in solving crimes during the Jazz Age in New York. Blum masterfully weaves together historical accounts and scientific discoveries to unveil the intricate world of poisonings and the groundbreaking work of early forensic experts. Set against the backdrop of the 1920s, a time characterized by social upheaval and prohibition, Blum paints a vivid picture of a city replete with clandestine activities and a surge in poison-related deaths. Through meticulous research and vivid descriptions, the author conveys the palpable sense of mystery and danger that permeated the era. Bloom's skillful prose transports readers to a bygone era, immersing them in the challenges and triumphs faced by the pioneers of forensic medicine. Central to the narrative are the figures of Charles Norris, New York's first chief medical examiner, and Alexander Gettler, its chief toxicologist. Blum presents them as formidable partners, each contributing their expertise to develop groundbreaking techniques in the detection of poisons. Norris, with his unwavering commitment to scientific integrity, and Gettler, with his meticulous and innovative analytical approaches, form a dynamic duo that lays the foundation for modern forensic investigation. Blum adeptly explores the toxic substances that permeated Jazz Age New York, from cyanide to wood alcohol, and their deadly consequences. Through a series of compelling case studies, she demonstrates how Norris and Gettler's pioneering work enabled them to identify and analyze these substances, thereby exposing the grim reality of poison-related deaths. The narrative unfolds like a series of interconnected detective stories, each case highlighting the growing expertise of forensic medicine in unearthing crucial evidence. Furthermore, the Poisoner's Handbook sheds light on the societal issues of the time, such as corruption, social inequality, and the limitations of contemporary medical knowledge. Blum skillfully integrates these broader themes into her analysis of forensic advancements. The book underscores the impact of socio-political factors on the development of forensic science, emphasizing how Norris and Gettler's work was not only driven by scientific curiosity but also by a desire to improve public health and safety. Bloom's exploration of the chemistry behind poisonings is particularly commendable. She breaks down complex scientific processes into accessible explanations, making the book engaging and informative for both general readers and those with a scientific background. By doing so, Blum empowers readers to grasp the intricacies of toxicology and appreciate the monumental challenges faced by early forensic experts. In conclusion, The Poisoner's Handbook is a captivating blend of historical narrative and scientific exploration. Deborah Bloom's meticulous research and compelling storytelling shed light on a crucial period in the evolution of forensic medicine. Through the lives and work of Norris and Gettler, readers gain insight into the birth of modern forensic techniques and the profound impact of their contributions. The book not only unravels the mysteries behind poison-related deaths but also offers a lens through which to view the broader societal issues of the Jazz Age. Bloom's vivid prose and insightful analysis make The Poisoner's Handbook a must-read for anyone intrigued by the intersection of history, science, and crime.